you know, I'm one of those guys that I'm, I'm not, I, I like to fight a fish, you know, or I like that little bit of the fight. But the big thing for me is setting a hook. You know, today swimming a jig, getting a lot of bites, flipping, getting a lot of bites. I just, something about that, you know, that big hack attack flipping stick, braided line and getting to set the hook. I, I just, I truly love to fish that way. Now I like to catch a bass any way possible and I will do whatever it takes to catch one. But I guess if I only had one way to catch them, flipping is the deal. It's so up close and personal. It's such an efficient way to fish too. And I, I like efficiency. You know, you don't have any wasted motion. Every pitch is where that is in his house. You know, it's not like you're cast into his house and you're wasting so much time getting the bait back. Every pitch I make, I feel like I'm going right in his house. I just love to rip him out of his house. You know, basically, you know, our main objective today was really just to show the world that how versatile and probably, honestly, probably one of the finest pieces of plastic that's ever been made. Well, they were pretty in that clear water, though. That fish looked turquoise in that clear as that water is. You know, today it's going to be about one bait, probably the most honestly the most versatile piece of plastic that strike king makes a rage crawl you know i was caught that one swimming a jig it's my favorite jig trailer whether i'm swimming a jig flipping a jig we're going to fish it by itself we're just today the main thing is we're just going to show the versatility of the strike king rage crawl mm. That one's out there in that deep grass. Somebody just got out there and got deep enough to find them. Pretty simple rig, just a green pumpkin rage crawl. They do like it. The biggest success to flipping is patience and repetition. You know, you just, it's, it's presentation and you just gotta keep putting that bait right where it needs to be and it'll happen. It's a lot of fun on that swim jig. I mean, that fish, that fish is not that big. It was running 90 miles an hour when he got it. He liked it. He liked it. He's a little lean. The funny thing about that is, what's cool about this fishing, like up, I can see the bottom. It don't look like nothing up there. How those fish can hide. Pretty simple. Three quarter ounce slip sinker, five volt flipping hook, and a rage crawl. I always peg my weight because, you know, that rage crawl draws quite a bit of water because of its appendages. So it'll have a tendency, like out here the way we're fishing, I want that fast rate of fall. If I don't have that weight pegged, that crawfish will pull away from the weight because the weight doesn't have any resistance, so it, it would run down your line. So it's always a big key whether you're flipping grass or wood or if to keep up with that bait, the only way to do that is to have that weight peg so that the, it all goes down at the same time. Tiny bass. That's the other big key, you better have plenty. 
you know, that's a cool thing. You know, sometimes you can catch multiple fish on one, but I find always the best plastics are the one that typically a bite or two and you need to change. It's something about having that really soft plastic like that, that, uh, you know, just seems like the fish get it better. You get a better hookup ratio and they like it. Must be a more natural feel to them when they, uh, when they suck it in. Oh. Stormy weather bass. You sure they didn't say anything about a tropical storm? Yeah, if we look up and see y'all's little rental car start rolling down the hill, yeah, you'll be like when you like when the wrecker brings it back to Enterprise or wherever. I, the wind did that. Feel like when I'm pitching and flipping I have a better chance of, of generating more strikes because I'm just it's repetitive if that makes sense you know I'm basically I'm putting that bait in there reeling it out and doing it again doing it again I don't have any wasted motion you know the other cool thing about flipping is the catch rate you know it's it's typically 90% or better on the catch rate and you know I hate to lose one I hate to miss one and I find that that doesn't happen to much. Whether I'm fishing a tournament or just out fishing, when I feel like I got that flipping stick in my hand, I'm doing work. You know, I'm getting the job done. I'm gonna catch what bites me and I'm gonna generate a lot of strikes during the day. It actually looks like there, there's some clean places in that scruff. Might actually be some bluegill beds. It's a great technique for catching giants too because a lot of times the biggest fish in the lake will be hanging around those bluegill beds when they're spawning. It happens all over the country. It's so funny, you know, you, like Lake Murray in South Carolina is known as a, a blueback lake, but some of the biggest bass I saw there were on bluegill beds. Oh, might be a, a nice one. They getting better. I would say the bluegill are the deal. Didn't even mess up my shiny pretty. Make sure I got it in him. That swim jig fishing is fun. And it's fast at a high rate of speed. A little better one. You're getting it good. You know, but again, just a textbook place. I mean, we're sitting right here in the creek and uh, it's just a flat, you know, and those bluegill undoubtedly, you know, they're just spawning on that flat. And, you know, summertime, these fish can just suck off in that channel, pop right back up on that flat and feed. So we got a little bit of everything. Probably one of the most efficient ways you can fish too. You, Cause you can fish that swim jig, especially in the warmer months on, at such a high rate of speed cover so much water and the hookup is so good on it. You know, it's power fishing 101. It's, it's fun too. You know, and that, that's the other thing I find about it. You hardly ever, there any need to throw fluorocarbon unless you're swimming it out deep. Anytime you're fishing it shallow, regardless of the water clarity, you know, braid is the deal. You know, those fish are not getting a chance to look at that line anyway. You know, they're just looking at that jig. And, uh, but I typically, you know, 50, I like 50. 50 cast really well. And uh, you know, again, it's a very low stretch. And so when I, and you gotta stay back on these fish cause that water's so clear. So when you get bit way out there, you know, I still get a great hookup. Now I know that was a small fish, but fast reel's the deal. Cause I, that fish got ahead of me, got to coming at me and I never would have got the hook in him without that high speed reel. Like I said, I'm not afraid to catch them every cast. And that's what I'm telling you about the efficiency of this bait. It's one of the few baits that you can 
you know, you know, basically what you're doing is firing up a school of fish when that happens and you can just keep getting it in there and just keep getting them. A little better one there. That big hook, that's another big key to that. So the half ounce hack attack heavy cover swim jig actually comes with a five volt side wash. I mean, so it's, it's a gaff. You don't have to worry about bending the point. You just keep every cast. You know, we had a day today where we had clouds, we had wind. Now the lake was clear, but it still made that stuff, you know, hard to see. It would have been almost impossible to catch half the fish I caught today without the sunglasses. Regardless if it's a deal that you're fishing grass, you're fishing wood, you're looking for fish, I, I, I cannot stress enough having a great, pa great pair of polarized sunglasses is the difference between having a bad day and a great day. how white that fish is come out of that clear water. I think they're laying on that yellow bottom. I'm not really doing anything other than I'm just letting that rage crawl work for me. And the cool thing about that rage crawl, you, all you have to do is just throw that swim jig and reel it. The deal is I'm hesitating that bait. So I've got it coming at a high rate of speed and when I shake it, I'm just stopping it in one place for a second just to draw their attention. Then I go back to reeling again. But, ooh, and they liked it so well that that one, I'm gonna be surprised when we get it in if he didn't. It's been a leg man. I'm sure I got it in him. That swim jig fishing is fun and it's fast at a high rate of speed. A little better one. You're getting it good. But that just, I mean, really just goes back to the versatility of that rage crawl because, you know, used to in the past, I would use a trailer that I would have to put action in. Realistically, with that rage crawl, chunk and whine, and it's just the whole key to swimming that jig is keeping it at the right rate of speed. You know, there are days they want it fast, days they want it slow. This water is extremely clear and extremely warm. And so the whole key to that deal is being able to get the hook in them out there when they get it like that. Because I mean, that fish pretty much bit me on the end of my cast. Now this one's not very big, but a lot of times it could be a six pounder and you need to be able to turn that fish and get that hook in his mouth. It's funny, like those fish are up there in little wolf packs, you know? Catch two or three together and then go through a little stri stretch where there's nothing and then come back and, woo, that's a little fat little chub right there, I think. But they're just up there eating bluegill. Nope, no great big ones, but just nice ones and fun. Now this is a fun size, very user friendly. And let me tell you something else. I love fishing when it's every cast. And they're that fun size. But it's just like I said, you fish a little stretch, you don't catch any. It's like little wolf packs swimming around up there just wreaking havoc on those bluegill. And, and, and again, just look, it's just the rate of speed. And that's pretty fast because this is a fast reel, but. I will call a shot every now and then. He just didn't get it on the fall like I thought he would. I was like, textbook, that channel runs under that boat dock. 
see that grass. But look how white that fish is coming out of that clear water. It's a pretty fish. Swole up. How? Loving that rage crawl. I mean, loving it. It seems like the deal is in that grass, like they, so there's, you know, somebody put some brush piles under that boat dock and uh, kind of choked that grass out so it's a clean place. And I'm not sure what type, there's some coontail growing out here deeper, but I'm not sure what type of vegetation that is, but it's kind of the type that, you know, the fish can't get in. So it seems like they're attracted to anything that makes a hole in it, whether it's one of those trees, a boat dock, or, um, you know, there were some brush piles. But I promise you he wasn't coming off. Another nice solid fish. Must be like a little bed of them in there. Loving that rage crawl. Loving that rage crawl. So if you're one of those people out there that loves to set the hook, I'd advise you to get you a case of rage crawls. Don't get a bag, get a case. I mean, how simple is that? Just a green pumpkin, three quarter ounce, Strike King Tour Grade tungsten weight, some braid, a hack attack flipping stick, and I mean just a good time. You know, another thing about the Rage Crawl, which I feel like the whole Strike King line of plastic has going for it, is the softness and the texture of the bait. You know, not only is it scented with the caffeine scent, it's also extremely soft. You know, the thing about that is you've seen me go through a lot of them today, but the cool thing about that is because of the texture of that bait, I feel like I get a much better hookup. I feel like the fish take the bait better. I find that, you know, you saw how some of them were swallowing it. I just feel like they do that a lot quicker because of the texture of the bait and it's so soft. You know, the whole Rage line of baits is such a great addition to the Strike King line because it just brings action to the table that, you know, we've never had in any other type of plastic before. About dropped him right on that mammoth cooler. Looked like he was trying to get in there and get him a drink. After that fight, he done got hot. Think he didn't eat that? I mean, look at that hook. I'm talking about smoking that rage crawl. I mean, smoking it. I can't even know if I get, well, I would say I couldn't get my hand in there, but he just happens to have a big old mouth, so I can slip it right in there. He's kind of like me, got a big old head and a nice body. Like I started moving in slow motion. <laughs> Make it even slower. All right, I'm fixed to switch that jig. I've done enough of this. Time to see if we can't catch us some big one. This has been fun, though. I might as well follow this little channel around because it seems to be a fish or two in here. You know, the other deal is it just, what I call fits the profile. It is the perfect size, you know, for what, you know, realistically what the size of the bait that most fish feed on whether it be a crawfish or bluegill or you know it's just that perfect size you know there's almost a point now where it's getting to where i just don't have to carry a lot of plastics anymore because i got that rage crawl and i can do so much with it sorry about that buddy another victim of the ridge crawl, but not the one I was thinking about. I thought it was gonna be that other fish that I saw over there earlier. I got a green pumpkin on there, a green pumpkin jig. 
and uh, I like to change it just a little bit. That's a roadkill colored rage crawl. So that just kind of gives it a two blended. And you know, you see a lot of those little bluegill and sunfish in the summertime that are, you know, they're green pumpkin. It looks like they got just a little green tail, a little blue on their tail. And I'm just trying to, you know, basically just mimic those little bluegill that are swimming up and down the bank. There he is. Nah, he's not that better one. That's a pretty good one. You know, our whole reason for being out here today was just to show you how great a lure the Rage Crawl is, how versatile it is, whether it's on a swim jig, a flipping jig, or even by itself, such a great bait, possibly the best plastic bait Strike King has ever made. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Join us here next time on the Protein Journal.